This is Realme Narta 50 and today I would like to demonstrate that you can set up parental controls on this device. So to start you will need to launch settings, onwards you gotta enter the users and accounts category. If you have any Google accounts added over here at this list like I do, you will need to get rid of them or, well, to put it in simpler terms, simply remove the account, Google account to be exact. Then uh, relaunch the settings again, enter the Google category. Over here, tap at the parental controls, get started, child routine, next. Then sign into your child's Google account. Then proceed with the sign in if you would normally do with any other Google well login that you had in your life. Well, then, I mean onwards from the list, choose the account that you have just logged into. And now you gotta this time enter the credentials for the parent's Google account. Or your Google account as a supervisor. Or the Google account that you will use for supervising your child's activity. So sign into that. Then, at the About Supervision page, enter the password to the child's Google account once again. Then tap at the Agree button. Then go for the Allow option over here. Wait for the parent and child accounts to get linked. After that, click Next. This step we can skip as for right now, as well as the following one since we will be able to do those things later on inside the family link application itself. And now we are more focused on the, well, on finishing the setup sooner, or well, as soon as possible at least. From here, if the device that is highlighted over here is the one that you will use for supervising your child's activity, as a parent or supervisor respectively, you can tap at the blue install family link button and the required app will get automatically downloaded and installed. If that is not true, just tap at the skip option, take your parental device and download and install the free Google family link app from, well, Google Play Store. So in here, let me open the Play Store. Here is the app. Now let's wait for for these for the app to get downloaded and installed. Already. Now you can just go ahead and launch it. While signing into the app, make sure to uh, log in with the Google account we have earlier identified as Parental. Here it is. And inside the app itself. You can do various manipulations and, well, overall, fence your child's activity with, for example, setting daily uh, device usage limits, downtime routine, manage apps and app activity, apply content and age restrictions, configure account settings, manage devices, monitor your child's location, and see your child's device usage highlights. Alrighty, so that will be it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, thanks for your attention, and bye-bye.